at all. Just want to have a quick chat with us on some important topic in prayer and believe that this will be life-changing, particularly for those who probably are just starting out in the place of prayer. Prayer is one of the most important components in our work with God. And so we'll be looking at the power of prayer, but from the perspective of how we can profess or the professing of prayer. Now, historically, the Jews were very good poets, and so they played with a lot of words. So when it came to the time of prayer, in the days of the psalmist, one of the things the psalmist said in Psalm 116, verse 10, he said, I believed, therefore I spoke. I am greatly afflicted. Now there's so much power when we speak. And so when you go through the Bible, you find out that there's always an encouragement for us to speak. And so Paul, the apostle, took it to another level when he spoke out in 2 Corinthians or 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. He said he was actually making a reference to what the psalmist said. Wherefore, we have in the same spirit of faith, we believe, therefore, we speak. There's so much power when we speak the word of God. There's so much power when we declare the content, the prophetic content of the word of God. So what we want to basically do today is to begin to encourage people, to encourage you to begin to speak, to profess or to confess the word of God over every situation in your life. It could be negative circumstances, that you want God to turn around for you as you begin to speak on a constant basis. And I mean it on a constant basis. You know, for example, you can take up a scripture like in the scripture that says, you know, giving thanks to the Father who translated us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light of his dear son, and you've made us partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. You can declare this. You can speak this all through the day. You can pick up scriptures that says, you know, Lord, I live in the abundance of your supply because your word says you will supply all my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You can pick up scriptures that says that, things concerning your health. You know, the Bible says that God sent his word and it healed every disease. You can speak this out. Just speak it as you wake up in the morning, as you're driving to work, you're just speaking those relevant scriptures to those situations that probably might be besetting you. As you continuously speak, you will see God move through your speakings. As you speak, you're actually professing. As you speak, you're actually prophesying. So, brothers and sisters, wherever you are across the globe, I want to encourage you to just rise up because we believe we must speak. We just have to speak out. You can't keep quiet. You can't keep mute. You need to speak and address those situations that is affecting you in life. So God expects that we begin to speak like the Jews spoke out, you know, like they spoke as poets. You can even begin to coin your own words and begin to speak over situations in life. So I just want to say to you, is a new dynamic in the place of prayer. As you begin to speak, you might find it very difficult or maybe sometimes boring uh, to just sit down in a location to speak or to pray. But as you are engaging yourself in different activities on a daily basis, you just go ahead and speak the word of God. You can say to yourself, I am blessed by the spirit of the Lord. I am blessed because my prayer life is moving from greater glory to another glory. I declare that by the spirit of the Lord, I am moving to higher heights. I am moving to greater dimensions in the realms of the spirit. You begin to speak the word as it is written. You will say to yourself, you know what? I'm like a tree 
planted by the rivers of water. And as you begin to speak, addressing that situation in your marriage, maybe your marriage is going through uh, a stress period right now, you begin to speak and say, the spirit of the Lord is upon my marriage. I declare the peace of God over my marriage. I declare the tranquility of God over my family. I declare the serenity of God over my family, my children. Lord, I declare your power over my marriage, over my home. You can speak the word of God over your community and say, Lord, I am seeing changes in my community. There's a translation. People are moving from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. No, as you speak, God backs up your word with power. The Bible says where the word of a king is, there is so much power. When you begin to do this, you begin to experience a change in your prayer pattern and in your prayer life. And then suddenly the speaking thought of the word of God becomes indigenized in you. It becomes a part and parcel of you. And then your prayer life begins to move to new dimensions in the spirit. So I just want to encourage you once again and again, do not stop speaking. Keep speaking. Keep professing. Keep confessing the word of God. Hold on to it clearly. Paul said that we may profess and hold on to our faith. So it is time for us to keep speaking the word of God. Do not waver. Even when you don't see results, just stay at it. You know, I remember the story of a woman missionary that was sent to Kenya and she moved into a place where there was a huge mountain that was blocking her view. She just didn't like this mountain. And one day she went to church and the pastor was speaking about faith that you can speak to the mountains and this woman went back home and from that day she started speaking to the mountains on a daily basis mountain you got to move um you know she said that funny enough she the moment she kept speaking it was as if the mountain was getting bigger and bigger but she kept at it she kept speaking and speaking and speaking and then one day the kenyan government decided to do a road construction through the community where she lived. Guess what happened? The road construction was going to, you know, go through that mountain. So the government decided <laughs> to shatter the mountain into smithereens with a dynamite, the construction company that was hired to execute that project. And then suddenly the mountain moved. What a wonderful testimony. Please, brothers and sisters, you can speak to that situation. It might be your health. It might be your marriage. It might be your finances. It might be that you're jobless at the moment. As you wake up in the morning, begin to speak into the atmosphere. It might be that there's gross darkness around you. Just begin to speak the word of God and say, let there be light. Let there be light over this situation. Let darkness disappear. Let darkness dissipate like vapor. Keep speaking the word. Keep professing the word and then you will see great result in those things that you're speaking about. So I just want to say to you, you cannot stop speaking. God has given you a mouth to keep speaking. Someone said a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Our mouth is for us to use it to speak. When we speak, it pierces. It cuts through the atmosphere. So keep speaking. Do not relent. We cannot but give up and say that God is always on the throne and God is always backing our words with power. So keep speaking because your words are very prophetic. Your words are productive. Your words are prolific. Your words shatters the kingdom of darkness. So you must speak. Do not stop speaking. Just want to say to you, don't stop. God bless you. And have a wonderful day. Amen.